me drinking a green tea smoothie ah, while wearing a Batman t-shirt. Lifestyle choice. Me being gay, not a lifestyle choice. Not a lifestyle choice. Oh, hey there. <laughs> I'm Joe Kurlowski, the super brave teacher, the super brave gay teacher, and today, YouTube, I'm gay, 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 gay. Today, gay, today, gay. Today we are talking about the gay lifestyle, which doesn't exist because guess what? There's no such thing as a gay lifestyle. There's such thing as a gay life. I am a gay man. Let's get into this right now. So I already see some of you scratching your head and you're like, Joel, isn't it just wordplay? You're right, it is wordplay, but words matter. Words are important and they impact us in a different way. So right now, like I always say, I am not here to look into your heart. I am not here to judge you. I am not here to, to measure your level of intent. But I do want you to know, all of you watching this video to know that there's a difference between intent and impact. We've talked about it a lot. No one I know who has ever left a comment on this channel or on Facebook or Reddit or wherever has ever had usually a poor intention, an intention of intentionally hurting me. But the impact is tough. I hear that phrase gay lifestyle a lot and let me give you some examples. So when I came out, for example, I heard up, oh, I don't agree with your lifestyle choice. I don't agree with your gay lifestyle choice. Take that in, okay, I hear that. Or people say, Joel, it's great, it's fine being gay. That's your gay lifestyle choice, that's your gay lifestyle. Back off of Joel, that's his lifestyle choice. Okay, I hear that. And it's always this back and forth. I don't agree with your lifestyle choice. I agree with your lifestyle choice. I don't agree with your lifestyle choice. I agree with your lifestyle choice. Both of them drive me crazy. And let me tell you why. Because I didn't choose to be gay. I am gay. Punto final, period. And also, me drinking my green smoothie is a lifestyle choice. Me putting on a tank top is a lifestyle choice. Me styling my hair this way is a lifestyle choice. Diet is a lifestyle choice. Getting up when I get up at the same time every day is a lifestyle choice. All of those things are lifestyle choices. Being who I am is not a lifestyle, it is my life. So when we use words like lifestyle, it is minimalizing who I am. Now this is my opinion, this is what I believe. So maybe you hear other people who say, use the word lifestyle and it's okay with them. Great. It is not okay with me. Please stop using the phrases lifestyle because this is my life. Imagine, for example, if you are a woman and someone says, you know, I agree with all these things you're doing, but that lifestyle choice of being a woman, I don't agree with you being a woman. Or a person of color, you know, I agree with that person, but that lifestyle choice of being black, don't agree with that lifestyle choice. It's the exact same thing. I am not here to convince you that I was born this way because I was. I am born this way, I am a gay man. I am an out and proud gay man who will fight for all LGBTQ teachers and students until the day I die, because that is what I, am. I know I am born to do. I am here to spark bravery in all of us, but it starts with having tough conversations right now, because the majority of people who leave these comments and say, leave them alone, it's just a lifestyle choice, have the best intentions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sending you love right now. But let's rephrase that. He is a gay man and that's okay. She's a lesbian woman and that's okay. That is a transgender person of color and they are awesome. It is not a lifestyle choice. And I wanna add and keep making you think because that's what we're here to do, that who would ever choose, who would ever choose a lifestyle that brought bigotry and hatred and anger and frustration and trauma and loss. Since coming out, I have experienced all of that tenfold, hundredfold. 
coming out has been the best thing for me and has also been one of the hardest things on my list of life's hard things. So I really, really urge you to wrestle with that question or that thought, oh, this is just a choice or this is just a lifestyle choice because it's a really, really tough life that is only made tougher once we use words and minimize people like me with words like lifestyle. So once again, this is my life. This is not my lifestyle. This is my life. This is not my lifestyle. This is my life. Right now, I am not fighting for LGBTQ plus teachers' lifestyles. I am fighting for their life. I am not fighting for LGBTQ plus students' lifestyles. I am fighting for their life. Because within their life, they can have a lifestyle that they choose. Maybe they're gonna have a lifestyle of running every day. Maybe they're gonna have a lifestyle of whatever. But they can't have a lifestyle unless they have a life. Unless we fight for all people's lives and unless we value and show that we have worthiness. And part of that is the words we use for people. So I'm not sitting here like, Shame on you, you're a bad person forever using the phrase lifestyle. We are growing together. Look at us, growing together. I appreciate you so much. I thank you, thank you, thank you. You have no idea. But no, when you talk to me, say, Joel, I value you. I value your life. You have some awesome lifestyle choices within your life. But I value you, and I see you, and I see the life you are living. Thank you. And I'm going to say the same to you. I see you. I value you. I appreciate you. I see your life, your fullness of life that is worthy of living to its fullest, 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 and sparking tons of love and compassion and bravery. So keep doing you. Keep doing you. So to finish off this video, since I'm not a nice guy, I wrote a little card, a little goodbye card to Gay Lifestyle. I just wanted to write Gay Lifestyle a little letter that says, sorry for the confusion. I have a life, an out and proud one. Adios, Joel, the super brave teacher. And you know what? I'm just gonna take this envelope that I wrote that's addressed to Never Againville. Please stop, USA. And I'm just gonna mail it. Bye, gay life. So I'm just gonna mail it. Mail, mail gay life. So a little letter. Put that in the mail later and say, you know what? When it arrives at Never Genville, I will be happy because please stop. Please stop, USA. <laughs> I'm hilarious. I love all you guys. Have a great day. Like this video, share this video, click this video, send it to someone you know, get the word out that we are gonna tip Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way. We are gonna get a million views in a year. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. This is YouTube and we are tipping it because of people like you. Thank you so much. Leave a comment below too. Maybe you disagree with me. Let me know. Let me know. What other words or phrases do you hear all the time that just leave that uh, feeling inside of you? I wanna know. You are appreciated. You are loved just because you are you. Bye, friends.